reader friends, welcome back to story time. Today I have another fantastic story. A little spot learns math with lemons. But before we get started, please subscribe. This means so much. So, should we get started? Let's get started. Now you guys are going to be like Whoa, 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 stop right here. How are you going to learn math with lemons? Well, this spot right here, this little purple spot, yeah, you see that purple spot right here, that purple spot, is going to teach you how to do that. So, let's get started. Hi, I'm Learning Spot. I'm here to talk about math. Math, no way. I already know two plus two. I can count to one hundred. Wait just a second! What if I told you that math could help you predict the future? How, how? I'll give an example. If you earn $10, you spend one dollar a day on ice cream. I can predict that ten days into the future, you will have no money left. Oh my gosh, I do not like that example at all. Can you predict when will I make money? Learning math can definitely help you make money, save money, and spend money wisely. How can math help you do that? Let's say that a neighbor pays you $10 to clean up all the lemons in their yard. And, you, and they let you keep the lemons you picked up for free. Instead of buying ice cream and eventually running out of money, you could use the money to start a business selling lemonade to earn money. You Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you can sell lemonade, you need to create a lemonade recipe. You might need to practice a few times to get it right. Ugh, so sour! Mmm, just right. Recipe. One and a half lemon, plus one cup of water, one tablespoon of sugar, plus three ice cubes, equals the perfect Amazing lemonade! Now that you have your perfect lemonade recipe, you need to figure out what everything will cost. All business have expenses. Listing out all your costs is how you create a budget. Budgeting is math. 145 tablespoons, 100 paper cups, 2 Dollars, two gallons of water equals 32 cups, 20 pound bag of ice. We, do, we don't need to include the cost of lemons because you earned the, since you made $10 picking up lemons, let's use that as a budget. Expenses to sell lemonade. $10 the budget, $10 the cost. Let's figure out how many kinds of lemonade we can to make with your budget. 145 tablespoons, 100 paper cups, 2 gallons of water equals 32 cups, 20 bag pound of ice cream. Ice. Since we only have 2 gallons of water, the most lemonade we can make is 32 cups. Measuring liquid is math. To figure out what to charge, it's good to do some research. Last weekend, you sold 2 lemonade stands. One was selling lemonade for $1, and one was selling lemonade for $3. It might be good idea to charge somewhere in the middle at $2. Finding the average price is math. Now it's time to create the sign. It's like, I like to attach a sign to a box so it's strong and won't blow away. It's good to measure the box to see how big it is to make the sign. Measuring height and length. Or math. The box is big enough and sturdy enough. You 
could use it at the table to hold your cups and lemonade. Weight and balance are math. Now that you have, now that you know how many cups you can make and what price to sell each cup, let's see how much money you would make. Can you count by two, two, four, two, four, six? Let's get ready, guys, to count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty-six, forty-eight, fifty, fifty-four, fifty-six, fifty, fifty-four. I mean, fifty-two, fifty-four, fifty-six, fifty-eight, sixty, sixty, sixty-two, sixty-four. Oh my gosh, that's Made me have tongue twisted. Equals sixty four dollars in sales. Lemonade for sale. You can also multiply thirty two cups of lemonade by two dollars per cup to find out the total out the total sales too. To figure out what the profit, you would take sixty four dollars in sales and subtract your expense. You can make. Fifty-four dollars in profit. Way to go! You use math to make sure how you are spending more money than you are spending. Now that you know how will you be profitable, let's start selling. Some customers will pay with exact change, and some will need change back. You will use subtract, subtraction, and addition to figure it out. Adding and subtraction is math. Wow! What a great day! You sold all thirty-two cups of lemonade. Since there are two of you running the lemonade stand, you can split your profits equally. Divide fifty-four profit by twelve. Twenty-seven, twenty-seven. Division is math. You can use math. Predict your future lemonade sales by creating graphs. Graphs are Way to see information visually. This also helps you see any patterns that can help your business. Creating graphs is math. See, this is the two full years of sales in a graph. You can see a pattern. Summer is the best month to sell lemonade. Finding patterns is math. With a few lemons, hard work. And a problem solving with math, you can buy lots of ice cream and even have money left to save your next business idea. Wow! There are so many ways to use math. What business should we start next? <laughs> well, that was an amazing book. Like I didn't really know how to do that with lemons. I mean, you can do that. Yes, you can. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. This means a lot. Thanks for watching. See you later in another video. Bye, reader friends, and keep on reading.